three drivers to transfer, two from finishing positions, one from your vote. Here we go. Green flag, it's on. Carl Edwards got a great jump on that start. And Juan Pablo Montoya looking down underneath Dave Blaney as they go into turn one. And made the pass. And Mon Darryl, I Montoya, think Montoya is he got control. To, yeah, oh, and he's going to get no. in the back. Big wreck over there. Gosh, Juan Pablo Montoya, he was just going down through there and really no place to go. I'm not really sure what he was thinking. He just ended up, he got hit again back there. They're yeah, still the hitting 21 him. car of, uh, of John Wood just ta tangled with him. Wood, Nemechek, Gilliland, all torn up. Pablo, uh, Juan Pablo's car is up against the wall back there, torn all to pieces. There's the uh, 84 car. A.J. Allmendinger. Allmendinger, he's Menard. in trouble. Menard's in trouble. Holy smoly. Well, this didn't take long. No, uh, I was really uh, not surprised, I might say. Joe Nemechek, there's Montoya's car. Darrell talked about him laying up against the backstretch wall. Watch the 42 starting third row inside. First, he makes the move on the 22 of Blaney. Forces his way under Blaney, and that's okay, but he goes so, so much speed into turn one, gets a little on the apron, and the car just wobbles loose with him, clips the back of David Gilliland, and from there on, it's on. And, Darrell, you've got a hard tire. They're cold. The air pressures are down. There, there just probably was no way that car was going to stick down there. We've seen this in qualifying. We've seen it in practice. Oh, Gosh, Wood. John Wood. Poor John Wood. Thought he had it cleared, I'm sure. All the drivers are okay. Gilliland's gone to the garage. Right there, you can see one. Look at his hands in there. He's trying to catch the car. It's going up the track. Makes this a little bit of contact with David Gilliland. And when he does, that spins Gilliland around. And they're going to meet each other face to face. And we need to add, what he did when they dropped the green flag and they crossed the finish line is perfectly legal. The car just wasn't ready for that when he got to one and two. He got oil all over those M&Ms. There's, a, there's Joe. I mean, he's just trying to slip through. Got to remember, they're just coming up to speed. And you also got to remember that everybody's thinking, hey, these guys are wrecking. It's a chance to move up. Yeah, Menard got up into Almondinger, and then the track's blocked. Can't see. Obviously, you can see all the smoke. Trust me, folks, when you're out there on the racetrack in a race car, you're just driving in the blind. Clean pass to this point by yeah. Montoya. I think he got the tires down on the apron a little bit. He was forced yeah. low by the uh, pass he put on the 22 car, and uh, that got him sideways, slideways, kind of going up the hill. And uh, he gets the 13, and then he gets the 21, and then Juan got a several of them. I'm not sure. I don't think Almondinger, the 84 car, ever actually got hit or hit anything. AJ had a great run here last night in the uh, truck series, finished second. Boy, look at Mike Bliss there in the 49 car just sneaking through. Crunch time at Lowe's Motor Speedway. We do not complete a lap without the caution flag coming out in turn two.